Hello YouTube. Just a quick little tip here. Um, where I'm at right now, it's right in the towards the end of deer season here, and we were cleaning deer last night, and my buddy had gotten these uh, Eastman Outdoors uh, freezer bags. Um, we had never used them before, and we kind of if you're gonna fill them by hand, um, we kind of had to build ourselves a little tool to uh, make that more doable because uh, they have on them a really narrow mouth. And if you're doing, filling these by hand, it gets to be a real pain to try and keep that open and get them all the way down there. Um, so this is what I came up with last night to kind of uh, make this work. First off, you're going to need yourself just a two-liter bottle. Anybody that's watched my videos before knows I use these a lot. And what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of make yourself a hole in it. And cut it all the way around. These Dr. Pepper bottles cut it all the way around this top ring. And try to keep it as even as possible. It doesn't have to be super even, but... Now I'll dump the water out of here. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to just basically cut down. So you get the second ring here. Go all the way around again. What you end up with is this, is this basically just a, a sheet of plastic that uh, wants to close in on itself. And what how you use this is you squeeze it, put it in the end of the bag, and let go. And you can see that holds the end of the bag open really well. And then you can just drop your meat down in there, your hamburger or whatever down in there, and then just squeeze it and pull it out, and you can go on the next one. You just put it in, let go. Um, this worked really slick for us last night. We did uh, 25 pounds of hamburger and really it took, us, it took us less time than if we were using Ziploc bags, which is what we usually use to do these. Um, we, I think we are probably going to permanently switch to these though because these are like $3 for 75 as opposed to like $2 for 20 or something like that for Ziplocs. Um, one thing about them is with these tops on, my buddy knows less like before you lay them flat in your freezer, they need to be set upright and frozen because he laid a bunch of these flat like that in his freezer and now the bottom of his freezer is covered in blood. So make sure you kind of set them on in until they freeze. Once they're frozen, you can put them whichever way, but before that, make sure they're upright. But that's it for this video. Uh, this is Plains Prepper signing out.